hi and welcome to an another video of Yugto tutorial series in this video we are going to learn about classes and BB class files so the first thing is what are classes and why do we need this so suppose you have multiple recipes of for different software packages that and all need similar build configurations such as fetching source code configuring compiling and installing so instead of rewriting the same code in each recipe you can create a .bb class file that with these common uh, tasks and functionalities then these recipes can inherit the bb class file using its functionalities so in summary so bb class file encapsulates reusable build metadata for the recipes so the classes are created in bb class files so where do we put the bb class files so bb class files are actually put inside the meta folder and inside meta meta of any recipe for example here in meta pocky and inside meta folder it there will be a class folder and inside their classes uh, classes folder and inside their classes folder all bb class files will be available so let us see what default BB class files are provided by Yocto? So let us see. We will go to inside Meta, and here we see classes. We go inside classes, and inside classes, you can see a lot of classes that are by default provided by Yocto or by Pookie. So, for example, Auto Tools. You also see C make, C C make, C make, and so on. So first of all, let us see one classes that we have used in the previous recipe. That is system D BB class. So system D BB class, if you see here, it has some metadata or some common task. So all the uh, all the recipes, for example, multiple recipes that have system D service on them and for that we don't need to rewrite all of these codes to enable it or to make it compatible with system D what we do is we just inherit system D class in the recipe so if you see here we have our previous system D example so here we have just inherited the system D class you can you can also see this variable and this systemd class which is enabled by default but we can override it also so if I put here disable so it will disable it and here for example we told that this is the systemd service file so it should also be present somewhere here so this file if we can add it to any systemd uh, any recipe containing systemd service file but it will only be enabled if the distro feature include systemd so if in local.conf the distro feature has systemd so this systemd class will be used in any recipe that contains the systemd file and it will make it compatible with it and we don't need to do anything else so this is the reusable code for systemd Furthermore, we can see one more recipe, uh, one more uh, BB class file, one more class. It's a kernel class. So, for example, if we want to inherit, uh, if we want to add a kernel a recipe, so this that kernel recipe should include, should inherit this kernel BB class. And in previous uh, videos, you have seen that we have used virtual kernel as an alias or as an alternative name for the kernel so that was that this is not present anywhere inside the kernel recipe if you see if we come back here and if we go recipe kernel and if we go Linux if we go Linux Yocto 515 and if I 
try to find here virtual kernel so you will not find it here but even though that is not here but we can call or we can build this kernel with this name so if you see it should have inherited okay it has this Linux dot uh, to include files so include file will also learn in the future what is it if you see include file it should have inherited the li the kernel here so here you can see that it has inherited and this include file is called here in this Linux Yocto kernel recipe so it means that so every settings or every configuration present here every configuration here and uh, every function here are usable reusable for each kernel Linux kernel recipe for example for the compilation and uh, so on if you see it is a lot of data is a lot of functions here so these all are reusable for the multiple kernel recipes that can be used and we don't need to do anything we just need to inherit it here so in the next video we will create our own VB class and we will test it for our own recipes hope you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching